Well, it's March Madness. It's a great time of year, and um, I, I really liked how we started the game. I thought we had great uh, poise. I thought we were really good defensively. Uh, I thought our positioning was really, really uh, good. And then they they um, they put a lot of pressure on with their screen and roll stuff. I thought our screen and roll defense was very good. And then on the other side, um, we were really in attack mode on the offensive end. I thought we really shared the ball the first half. We had nine assists on, on 18 made baskets and really – uh, we're moving well without the ball, you know. Then we got that 27-point lead um, with I think it was 2:02 to go, and certainly didn't like how we ended the half. And in a team like Omaha, they just they do a great job of uh, they just keep you off balance. They can play a lot of different ways in terms of their personnel, and and certainly they had all the you know even though we're up. 18 at halftime, you know, they had the momentum. I don't know what they ended on, a 9-0 run or 11-2 run or whatever it was. Um, so I didn't like how we finished the half. And then, you know, kind of went back and forth early in that second half, and we had to negotiate some foul issues um, with some with some guys. Um, but certainly we steadied the ship and, and got the job done. I thought our bench was really, really good tonight. Um, you know, 36 points off the bench. I thought Austin Sparks had... It just was was fantastic for us. I thought he was excellent on the defensive end, um, was really communicating uh, tremendously, and brought a level of physicality to our team. And then Brandon Armstrong, you know, hit a couple threes early, and just played with great confidence out there and really good poise. And and then of course Nick Fuller um, did Nick Fuller type of things. And certainly seeing Carlton Hurst out there was I thought a shot in the arm for our guys. You know, he hasn't practiced a whole lot, and we haven't seen him for eight, you know, seven, eight weeks, and that's hard to do when you can to come back at the, from that kind of time off. But he did Carlton Hurst type of things and, and certainly impacted this game. So um, with that. Questions for the student athletes. We have the microphone right here. Name and affiliation, please. Uh, Matt here. Um, how important was that start? Yeah, that's something we talked about before the game. It's coming off to uh, getting off to a great start last year. You know, Western um, against Western, we didn't get off to a great start. We let them hang around, and it was a tight game. And we know uh, that Omaha is a talented team. And you let a team like that hang around, they start getting confidence. So getting off to a good start is always important. Down in front again. Um, yeah, they're a very talented team, and um, they like to get downhill. Uh, we got a little undisciplined, but um, I mean, props to them. They didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to go home without uh, without a fight, and they just started getting downhill. It's communication errors, and I mean, they took advantage of uh, of some of our errors. Do you think the fact that you were able to hold it together there, Phil, and kind of keep the wheels on, is that a, potentially a confidence building thing going into the, the semifinals? Um, yeah, I mean. You know, we rely on our defense, and we know, I mean, basketball game of momentum. So if you can, can handle their, their run and, you know, weather storm, it's definitely something you can build on and look forward to from that. We'll take one in the back here. <clears throat> We're not worried about any anyone else except uh, USD right now. So as long as we take care of business and just do what we know we, we can control, um, things will work out and we'll see what happens. Other questions down in front? Uh, Matt, Coach talked about Carlton Hurst being given the other shot in the arm. When he got in the game and checked in, did it feel like you kind of missed that guy? Yeah, we have really missed Carlton. You know, he does the intangibles. He's a great player. and. More importantly, he's just a phenomenal teammate. He's a great guy to have on your team, and he just wants uh, he wants to contribute. He does whatever it takes to contribute, and having him out there tonight was was awesome to see him back out there. He's a senior, um, and this is his last go around, so it was really great to have him back out there. Other questions? We could take one more. If not, okay, gentlemen, we'll go ahead and excuse you back to the locker room. Appreciate the time. Congratulations. We'll see you on Monday. And we'll go ahead and continue with Coach, uh, with Coach Smith. Wow, 
Oh, this Anyone. is easy. This tonight. is an easy one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the shortest press. We'll take one ever. down here in front. We'll make my gosh one. Craig, um, <clears throat> a little bit about Nick Fuller. We've seen it a lot this year. Maybe some of the people haven't seen it quite as much, but 70 points in 19 minutes is fairly typical for him, and especially in, in bigger games. Well, he's. Um, it's uh, we're very fortunate to have a, a player of that caliber, you know, coming off the bench, and it, he's instant uh, production for us. Whether it's it's not only scoring, it's rebounding. I mean, you saw a sub, couple of those rebounding rebounds that he just goes and gets, you know, and and he can end possessions. He finishes well around the basket, but he just he just he just he he's a know how to play guy. Like he seems to be in the right spot at the right time a lot of times where. The, where all of a sudden, you know, the ball just finds him. And so whether it's moving without the ball, whether it's going to get a rebound or an, his timing on offensive rebounds is very, very good. Um, but and he just he just fits our team, fits our culture and really fits our style of play um, perfectly. So he's been a great addition for our guys and he plays with a level of physicality with the flexibility that he gives us defensively. We can switch one through four on ball screens and even you know, at times we play him at the five, so uh, he's been very, very good for us, as you've seen all year, Gar or, uh, Mick. Let's take one in the third row. <laughs> one of the two. Yeah, I'm Gaskins, KWS on the radio. So Carlton Hurst, Carlton Hurst kind of thing, just elaborate on that. Well, you know, he's just, you know, I've, I've said all along, I've, I've, I've always felt like Carlton, uh, he's certainly one of the best defenders in the Summit League, if, if not the best, you know, and I thought you could see that tonight. Where when he got in the game, we just he can just do some things that are that's hard to teach. And you know there was one rebound in there where he just went up and got it, and he just he just can make some plays. And you know on offense, obviously he's never been a, a great scorer. Um, you know I will say you know, uh, but he 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 really has good feel for the game. He's a cutter. He moves all the time. He's a guy that is super efficient. You know as a freshman at Colorado State, he shot nine percent or eleven percent from the three. His, his sophomore year shot 19%. Then we were fortunate to have him as a redshirt. As a junior, he shoots 47.5%. So he puts the time in and does so, those sorts of things. And I guess that maybe is, I don't know if it beauty is the right word, but it's definitely, you miss eight weeks uh, of actual playing time. Now, I mean, that's difficult, difficult to come back from. But the, the fortunate part for us, he's not one of those guys that's just a super skilled guy that's coming in and his game is shooting and passing. And his game is defending and rebounding. And then on offense, the ball, because he moves so well without it, finds him. But the other thing about Carlton, you know, he's just, uh, just a rock. He's like a silent assassin kind of guy where I think when he's on the floor, Guys around him have a lot of confidence. He just brings confidence to the floor. Yeah, it, you know, it's a good problem to have, um, but it just will be a field thing, you know. Um, with, with where the game is at, how are we getting hurt, what are we doing well, who looks fatigued, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The, the good news about that is, is because the way Carlton plays, you know exactly what he's going to bring, you know, to the table. And it's been fun to see, you know, because of Carlton's absence. You know, certainly Tyler Peterson has, has been playing at a high level all year, even before the Hurst injury. So we felt like he was going to fit in well. But I think you've really seen growth um, you saw growth certainly in Joshua Dawson and, and especially in Brandon Armstrong. And Brandon was, you know, played very, very well again tonight. So, you know, depth is a big thing. Depth matters. And, and you know, tonight we were negotiating some foul situations there for a while. So it was nice to be able to, to go to our bench and, and do what we thought we could have all year. Other questions? We got one in the back there on the podium. Well, that's a great question. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I haven't looked at the itinerary. Um, we'll definitely watch film of this game. And, and then that's the hard part, you know, the, with the, the tomorrow night's game being I'm a, an 8.30 game, we're not going to know who we're playing until probably about 10.30, 10.15 tomorrow night. So um, we'll, we'll be prepared for both. We've done some things. You know, we had 
it was just an interesting year, right? I mean, our last game was nine days ago. And I was concerned about this, I mean, this game without a doubt because it, it, for all intents and purposes for us, it was like a Christmas break. I mean, we had nine days between games um, over Christmas break. And so that's a long time. And ba- we all know basketball is such a rhythm game that way. And, um, but because of that and because we had so much practice time, we were able to do some things, you know, to prepare for both of these teams way, you know, a week ago. So uh, I'm not sure we'll do anything on Denver or Oral Roberts, but we will watch film on us. We will get a bunch of shots up and, you know, five on oh some things and maybe do a light kind of a light practice um, tomorrow. We were fortunate we didn't have to play, you know, too many guys, you know, crazy minutes tonight.